Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a straight through cable using the standard T-568A. Now like last time we'll need a cable, some RJ45 connectors, and some tools. So first things first, take out the jacket. Okay. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and separate these twisted pairs. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove this plastic here. Alright, so the last standard that we did, which was B, we started with orange. But with standard A, you'll need to start with the green pair. So I'm gonna go ahead and untwist these, and um, and I'll go ahead and show you what how it's supposed to be set up. Hey, so there we go. So like I said, uh, the standard we're using is T-568 Alpha. So how it'll start? It'll be White, green, green, white, orange, blue, white, blue, orange, white, brown, and brown. So I'm going to go right ahead and grab these and I'm going to go right ahead and just get them together. Start straining them out. There we go. I'm just going to make sure they're aligned correctly. Okay, and just like last time, rule of thumb, <laughs> uh, no, no pun intended, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut right here. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to grab our RJ45 connector and just FYI, it will go like this. So if um, it's just like my other video, so there we go. Go ahead and slide this in. And I believe, yep. Uh, let's see if I can get in there. And I believe they did go in as they're supposed to. Right now we'll test it out and see what happens. So, okay, there we go. Go ahead and grab my crimp tool. Okay. Alrighty. So we have it crimped. Um, I'm going to go ahead and test this out. I'm not quite sure if everything got aligned. I don't know if you see this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, welcome back. So as you can see, I just finished crimping the two connectors. Now, I marked this one because this one was the first one that I did that it does not look really sharp. So... Let's go ahead and test it out and see if it if I just completely failed on this. Alright, so this is a T. So I'll just test this. So I'm just gonna focus on this one and see what happens. So let's take a look. Oh, it's not even working. Nothing's showing up. Uh-oh, I did something real bad. Okay, here we go. Switch these out. It does not. Oh, my drive got something right now. So as you can see, it's going down the list, but you, I only get four. So I got four right now. I got six. I saw that I got six. So I'm getting four, so let's go a little bit faster. So I'm just getting four. Uh oh. Well, you know what that means. I did not do a very good job. So these all oh, here, let's take a look. I just want to see if I can. So well, let me crimp. Let me crimp them. Let's see if let's see what happened. 
Alright, so this was the first one. Put here. And. Uh oh, see? You see how it just keeps on jumping? So the connectors aren't connecting correctly. So I want to say, I think this one's okay. I want to say this one's okay. I'm thinking this is the culprit. So what I'm going to do is uh, let me go right ahead and recrimp it. And I'll be, <coughs> excuse me, and I'll be, and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so we're back. So I went right ahead and just recrimped this one. This one looks a little bit better. Let me see, go ahead and move this so I can autofocus on this right here. Looks a little bit better. So let's go ahead and test it out. I'll just put this one here. And this one up over here. Okay, let's see what happens. There it is. It was just a bad, uh, I just basically, um, uh, basically just did this wrong. So I did the very first connector and, and I did notice that some of the cables did kind of, uh, move out of place. So that's basically what was going on. So, uh, I just went right ahead and just, you know, just cut it, uh, just took out the jacket, um, go right ahead and just basically reset it up, uh, straightened out the cables, made sure to actually go straight and make, making sure that the cables don't move. So as you can see, basically we have everything straight out. So we are going from one to eight here and we're going from one to eight here. Well, this was really a learning experience. So um, yeah, uh, if you ever encounter this issue, now you know. And as well, you also know how to make a straight through cable using a uh, standard T-568A. Well, like always, I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one.